All right, just taking a quick look at this Jackery 100 Plus. So this is a tiny, it's very small, <laughs> 99 watt hour Jackery. And what's kind of funny about this is they've kind of decided to not really copy the typical power bank design, right? I mean, this is, um, it looks, <laughs> it looks pretty much just like a regular Jackery model, any of the new pro models, plus models. But it's palm sized is what they're saying. Now one thing that kind of just kind of struck me taking a look at this listing here, just kind of going through these pictures is that all of the pictures that they show on here, they're all they don't ever show the back side of this thing. So this is um I don't know, to me it it, it kind of seems like there's no handle on this thing, which is you know, I get that it's small, but um you know if you don't have big hands it could be kind of awkward right I mean in fact you probably have to use like two hands to pick this thing up so um, yes it's small but um, it, it's just not the most like ergonomic design really with no handle so um, but still they, they kind of wanted to do something a little bit different right and especially you know if you're a fan of Jackery if you have other Jackeries you actually might find this appealing right because uh, especially if you're you know if you're traveling if you're taking this thing on a plane, right, and you can take this thing on a plane is what they're, what they're saying because it's less than 100 watt hours, right, 99 watt hours. So, um, you know, you can take it, you can take it with you, basically, is the whole appeal of this thing, you know. So, um, that's obviously, you can't do that with any of the other Jackeries. Um, but again, you know, it's like, I don't know, a power, just some kind of typical power bank nothing special would probably give you the same specs and just be a lot smaller right I mean there's a lot they're, they're typically very slim right something so this is going to take up just because it's more of a cube it's just going to take up a little bit more space um, but the one thing I, I'll say is you know I it's kind of it's kind of cute right I mean it's just this little it almost looks like a little miniature model of a real Jackery power station, right? But this thing, in fact, you know, it does work. And the specs on it are, you know, as long as you want to do USB stuff, that's all it has, you know? It's just, that's it, <laughs> USB, but they're pretty good. So we do get two 100 watt USB-Cs and they are in and out, they're bi-directional. And then we do get one quick charge USB-A as well. Now what's interesting about this is you know, if you total these up, it should be, it should be 218 watts, right? That you should be able to do if you're using all three. But they actually say here that you can do, I think it was 128, 128 watts. That's all you can do. So I guess if you're using both USB-Cs, you're not going to be able to pull 100 watts out of both of them at the same time. It's going to be... I guess it would be 55 watts each, right? I mean, that would be 110 plus the 18. So, yeah, that's kind of, you know, that's just something to note. Um, but still, that's, you know, 128 watts is still a lot of power to pull, you know, via US, USB. And then um, just to kind of talk about the little design details here, you know, we do get this, the orange panel on the side, you know, because that's what Jackery likes to do. But one thing to note, there's no vents there. There's no... It's just, it's just, it's just for the look, really. <laughs> so, um, so there's no fan with this unit. You know, again, it's not doing a whole lot of power. So, yeah, so it's not going to make any noise. I guess that's the good thing. That's what they're actually saying here, emissions free. It's, I guess they meant noise free or it doesn't emit any noise, basically, right? So I guess that's nice. And then, you know, the thing is that I would say that with them being like so, so dedicated to making this look like a miniature version of all their other power stations is this screen is very small like very small <laughs> i hope you have good eyesight because you know here's this is the it looks like this is the screen here but actually the, the screen itself is only like this big and we're like you know we're really zoomed up here i mean i mean it's like take a look at it in some of these pictures i mean I, you know even if i do zoom in it's like you know, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a very small screen. So I wish they would have, I mean, I see what they're trying to do here, right? But 
I wish they have all this space, you know. I wish they could have just maybe made it a little bit bigger. It would have just been a lot easier. You can charge this with solar, um, but they are using the USB-C input as well for that. And um, this is the same as that new 300 plus model. It just, it doesn't really work that well with solar. I mean, first of all, look at the size of this connector. You gotta have this huge adapter on here for the USB-C to, con to convert basically a 7909, the regular eight millimeter solar cable to USB-C. And, and it's just like, you know, USB-C was designed to be as small as possible and to use small cables, right? Because they wanted to use it as a port on a lot of very small devices, right? Like, like a, little things like a smart watch little you know little tiny devices so they made it super small so it's not really designed to have this huge heavy gauge cable especially with a with another adapter on it plugging into it right so if you are doing this you know i just be careful don't you know don't knock that cable you know you could damage that usb B C port very easily so that's, you know, I, I wasn't a big fan of that on the 300 plus and it's the same thing with this unit. Um, so, but they do say up to 100 watts solar. And another thing that I've mentioned when you're using this uh, PD input for solar, you know, unless Jackery's done something special here where they've kind of have like a MPPT controller in there as well, where it switches over if it detects solar, I have no idea if they do this or not. But if they don't, you know, basically it just won't work that well unless you got like full sun, unless you got like strong sunlight. Um, otherwise, the, the USB-C, that, that PD protocol, it doesn't like to kind of jump around and search for, you know, that's the whole point of MPPT, right? It's just gonna, it's gonna be able to, to find the maximum power the solar panel can output and, you know, reliably, consistently pull power from the solar panel. The, the PD input is not designed to do that. It's kind of designed to detect, you know, one, one voltage or one uh, certain number of amps and then just stick with that right so so yeah i don't know actually if anybody has any of these new jackery models that charge with usb-c and that charge solar let me know how that actually works i'd kind of be curious to see if it does work well in low low light conditions um but you know i guess you know it's there you can do that right so this is something a lot of power banks don't have the ability to do and now let's talk about the battery because this really surprised me you know and basically any of these small little units power brakes as i mentioned most of them are real thin right because they're using nmc batteries and obviously to keep the size and weight down so jackery has decided to try something a little bit different here and this can kind of explain why they decided to go with this miniature jackery design right this more cube like design because they're using lfp batteries so this is you know this is real interesting um, if you want something real small like this, that's just going to give you a ton of charge cycles, right? Um, now they're only saying 2000, they're not saying like 3000, like a lot of their larger power stations because the battery capacity is so small, right? And you can, you can charge and discharge at the same time. And basically, you know, you're putting a lot of stress on the battery because it's so small. You got a lot of power going in, a lot of power going out. So that's why they've actually dropped it down to 2,000 charge cycles, right? So I've talked about this before. Like if you have something like the Jackery 3000 Pro, right? I talked about that. You know, a lot of people freaking out about spending so much money on an NMC power station and afraid the battery is not going to last on that. But 3,000 watt hours, you know, most of the stuff you're going to be doing is going to be what? Like 100 watts, 200 watts. Occasionally, you're going to push that inverter, right? But that's like occasionally. So it's just, you know, you're, you're doing a low C rate, just the stress on the battery very low, right? So, it'll, it, you know, it'll last a long time, basically, even though it's NMC. And as, you know, as always, the charge cycles, it's 80 to 80% 80 anyways. It's not till it dies. So, but yeah, so this is like, you know, if you love to use these power brakes and you love to use them heavily, right? This, I can see the appeal here. So yeah, it's just a quick overview of this Jackery 100 Plus. Hope you found it helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for